in this video, we are going to be taking a look at the five badges that you should avoid inside of the hunt on Roblox. And we're also going to be taking a look at the five easiest out of all the ones that I've played so far. The five easiest ones to unlock the badges. And we're not going to waste any more time. Be sure to like and subscribe. Let's hop straight into it. Badges that I'm about to list, it's not they're bad. It's just that they're very time consuming. And that's why that you should probably avoid them when you're trying to speed run. And starting off, we have SpongeBob Simulator. Now, I will say, I mean, this isn't hard what whatsoever but it is very time consuming okay so basically what you have to do is do a bunch of different quests and challenges uh they have to unlock in order to do this you have to destroy 55 chests in area one 100 doubloons in area two and then in area three you have to like destroy uh, a few drills as well it did take i want to say like 25 minutes maybe even 30 minutes to complete this and there's some badges that take less than five minutes so if you're trying to complete this hunt very very quickly maybe avoid the spongebob game i'm not entirely too sure but it was very easy like i said it just took a lot of time and next up we have floor is lava now this one when you join in you have to wait until the hunt actually starts now for this one it can take anywhere between 30 minutes to an hour it really just depends but it can be very very time consuming especially inside of public servers because you're gonna have to go through an obby and there's falling platforms which if multiple people are going on it can be a real pain and on top of that you have to wait until the map actually gets voted in to actually actually complete the quest itself so it takes a lot of time not only to get this event started but on top of that actually completing it making this one extremely difficult and also time consuming so my advice for this one is if you do end up playing it make sure you're inside of a private server because uh, you're gonna want to be alone when doing this especially when the map voting comes up you're gonna want to vote in the map and not have any votes throw off the other votes and on top of that you're gonna want to be by yourself especially with the falling platforms so if you do end up playing this do it in a private server but it'll still take a quite a bit of time next up we're inside of lumberjack simulator now this one is like a clicking game where basically you're clicking the entire time for the first world you're gonna need 15,000 wins which you have to unlock the wins by fighting against these right here so you have to fight these uh little bosses right here and you have to end up clicking it's uh, a lot of clicking you have to do and it is very time consuming this can take anywhere between 30 minutes to an hour and it could even be even longer than that we've had players spend roughly about like 45 minutes to an hour average completing this thing without you know buying stuff or you know pay to win basically so once you actually go to the second world you have to do even more of these um over here and then to fight the main boss you have to have 15 million strength and i'm only at 500 so it's definitely a grindy game but it does take very very long and next up we have pet simulator 99 which honestly could be really really easy especially if you played this game in the past and you have level 20 unlocked because all you have to do for the rb battles event is reach level 20 or area 20 and well if you're a noob like me and you're in area one it will take like probably an hour or so to actually get to level 20 it might even take longer than that because i actually got these pets gifted to me these aren't even my pets and i'm not even there yet so it probably would take you a pretty long time to do this i would think it would take probably an hour to an hour and a half of playing to get to level 20 because it is very very grindy it can even yeah. be anywhere between one to three hours it really just depends if you you get pets gifted to you or if not if you start out alone it really all depends on your situation but if you're new to this game then yeah you definitely have a long ways to go next up we have fruit battlegrounds now this one it could be very very frustrating this is one that i i found very frustrating when i first played uh as you guys could see uh some players camp behind like the spawn points which makes it extremely difficult to actually complete this uh so basically what you have to do is only get two kills but um yeah we when you're in here and players are way better than you you get absolutely destroyed and you can't really even do anything especially when you don't have like any abilities or anything like that because you're a noob kind of like how i am you're gonna get absolutely destroyed on top of that i believe this doesn't work inside of private servers uh, uh there's been reports that people have tried it in private servers and it hasn't worked at all and on top of that when players do get the kills inside of public servers sometimes they don't even register so i hope that this one actually does get uh nerfed because it is quite difficult it might sound easy to get two kills but uh, we were in here for probably about an hour playing this and we couldn't get anywhere just because the map is gigantic we were trying to group up with each other and farm off of each other but we were just getting in the way of better players who have way better powers and it can be very very frustrating now next up i did want to include this it is doors but i do want to say the doors event was so fun and is definitely one of my top events on the list but it was pretty difficult and it can 
can be time consuming. We probably spent about 45 minutes doing this just because it is kind of hard, but it is extremely, extremely fun. So I don't want to say avoid this game because it's definitely a must play. But I mean, if you're really trying to go very fast through the badges, then maybe avoid it. But it is so fun. You guys have just got to go play it. So I definitely recommend And next up, we have Arsenal, which kind of is the same thing with doors that it's a very, very fun event, except uh, it can be pretty long. It took me about 15 minutes running through this, and I felt like I did it pretty quick. I think it would take the average player about 25, between 25 and 40 minutes of completing this, just because it can be quite difficult at some times, and there's some points where I came really, really close to dying, but I didn't, and I got extremely lucky. So this one definitely can be time consuming, but it is still a very fun badge to get. I highly recommend that you guys go check this out. So now that we got the longer and a little bit more frustrating games out of the way, I want to share with you guys five games that literally are almost instant that you can actually get the badge in. I know I've done many videos talking about the easiest games to get badges in, where they pretty much show you and walk you through them all, but there's just a handful of games that you can get it so ridiculously fast, and I do want to include it in this video. So starting off with the first one. So starting off, we have Life Together, which all you have to do is find 10 eggs within this very small area and just take a picture of them. I mean, this literally takes like three minutes tops to do you literally just take a picture of 10 eggs this is one of the easiest on the entire list and i highly recommend that you guys go get this easy easy badge in the game and next up on the list we have brookhaven which once again is another egg hunt but this time you have to find 20 eggs in a little bit wider area but this one once again is just super easy the eggs are gigantic they're colorful you cannot miss them it's a very very easy badge to grab it takes about maybe three minutes to find all of them. and next up we have legends of speed which when i actually joined this game i instantly got the badge for some reason all you have to do is i believe like travel like 500 feet or something inside of here now if you're on a brand new account this will probably take you five minutes to do at the most but if you played this in the past you get the badge literally almost instantly when you join it and next up we have strongest battlegrounds which you don't even have to play the game you just get a plus one badge due to technical difficulties inside of the hunt right here the hunt area you just go over here and you get the badge absolutely for free don't even have to play the game and next up we have lumber tycoon 2 which honestly is one of the easiest on the list all you have to do is go into this cave right here that's already opened up and then put a piece of wood on this pedestal right here it's literally as easy as that this probably would take five minutes on a brand new account all like literally all they do is chop down a tree put the wood on the pedestal right there and then you just have to drive back or walk back over to the main shop over here to the wood r us and just deliver the egg uh out of your truck or in your hand it really doesn't matter however you transport it you just set it on the counter just like this and you complete durable mentions are going to be ninja legends and also the other like legends games like strong legends i believe another one was where you like lift weights uh or a strongman simulator i believe this one was also super easy but these right here are probably the five most hardest badges but i'm still finding more as i'm progressing through the hunt so the more i find the more i'll keep you guys updated with and also the five easiest but let me know down below what some of your favorite badges are from the events whether they're hard or easy let me know down below your favorites so i can go ahead and check them out be sure to drop a big thumbs up and make sure you guys subscribe and i'll see you all inside of the next one peace out and goodbye